guys what is up how's everyone doing got this beautiful car for you today this is i know you all have been waiting for you wanted to see a video of an accord so i wanted to bring something very special because amader bangladesh je trim ta ashe oi ta ei trim na it's a bit different this is a 2 liter bangladesh je gula ashe gula 1.5 liter unfortunately i wish they had this trim so i've got a lot to talk about this is a loaded accord so oneke amar channel e bolche uh, je bhai review the accord but i couldn't finally i have it for you guys 2020 honda accord this is the sport version as you can see we've got beautiful rims beautiful blue color i can see myself over there so this is a blue metallic blue with this beautiful rims i'll come on to the rims a bit later so let's show you the front first just look at the detail on the headlights amazing this is the drls we've got hazard this is the high beam and this is the led we've got four lines on the hood as you can see 1 2 3 4 the front grill is pretty nice looking we've got the honda logo in the middle shamne dik diye the styling of this car is very very nice um the front body kit looks very nice as well you can see all the edges very well with this blue color this is the side profile let's see the tires and rims this is a 19 inch rims beautiful two tone satin finish and gloss black what is the size 235 4019s this is a front wheel drive let's go see the back 235 4019s we've got this line that starts over here ends all the way to the back and hits the rear light i like the side skirt too there's a wave to it as you can see it's pretty nice side mirror too it's very nice as well it's a bit different looks very sporty we've got a sloping roof beautiful coming on to the back I love the rear end of this car. Look at the rear; it's so nice. No matter where, which side I take the video of the car, every angle looks good because the car looks good from every angle. I like the tail light; love it. Honda logo, and since this is a sport version, it's written sport over here. And we've got dual exhaust, and they are real. And we've got the tip. Unfortunately, the one that we have in Bangladesh, they don't have this kind of tip. and then the accord lettering over here overall the light looks amazing the color the rims they go along so well we've got a boot spoiler as you can see pretty nice let me show you the car from a distance how it looks it's good doesn't it it's a 2 liter four cylinder 252 horsepower 10 speed automatic it's a front wheel drive i mentioned before it's time for us to get inside guys let's go let's see the inside what do we have over here we've got the buttons this is to open up the trunk and then we've got aluminum pedals they look nice and then this trim gives you like a carbon fiber effect this is the steering wheel I love the steering wheel. It's pretty sick, pretty nice as you can see. This is the gear knob, parking button, and then sport mode, eco mode. We've got two cup holders over here. I love the speedometer. Once you get in, it welcomes you with the Honda logo and then let me start of the car. So this is white. Now, if I press the brake button and then start, you see it turns red and We have the speedometer right over there. That side, the right side is analog. The one on the left is digital. And overall it looks like a analog speedometer which I really like. Very nice. Very nice. You can control everything from here and see what's going on. Beautiful Honda logo in the middle. And then we've got some stuff over here. This is to increase the level of the speedometer. the light that's esp in the middle we've got this center compartment which is pretty deep you can keep a lot of stuff over there this is 
for your Apple CarPlay without plugging uh, your phone to the cable it does not turn on the Apple CarPlay so you have to have the wire to turn on the Apple CarPlay and you can charge your phone we've got two USB ports over there we've got this three knobs over here this knob is to increase the AC this is the dual zone climate control you have your driver's side temperature control and then passenger side temperature control we've got two ac vents over here this display it's pretty nice karapna it's a decent size there's one ac vent on that side one ac vent on this side let me show you the trim very nice so on the sport version you cannot get the beige interior so it has to be black by default you cannot spec out the interior it's it has to be black unfortunately it does not have any sunroof that's only the downside on this car other than that everything about this car is beautiful so let's see the center space we've got some coins over here some space at the bottom okay let's open this up and see the glove box glove box is pretty big uh, let's see the cubby space okay you can keep your wallet 500 ml water bottle it's not that big guys let me this is my driving position and um, let me turn on the light sunglass holder over here it's time for us to go to the back seat i'm done with the front guys let's go as you can see i've got decent amount of leg space pretty big the one and only downside at the back is there is no pockets over here no pockets on that side there is a pocket so one pocket on the seat no ac vents that's one downside as well no ac vents i wish they had an ac vents this is the dash from the back leg space is good head space is good as well pretty good it's time for the exciting part as you can see look i've got pretty good space head space overall this is a nice car three person can sit easily at the back seat you won't have any problems it's got huge amount of leg space good amount of head space so pretty good so guys we're done with the back seat time for us to go for a drive the exciting part let's go guys so guys how is it like to drive 2020 honda accord with 252 horsepower two liter it's a pretty good car i would say i like how the steering feels feels pretty comfortable and it's very responsive at the same time as well i love the speedometer the left one's um, digital the right one's analog as i've mentioned before um, on the video and i like how the screen is displayed the dash there's nothing much going on the dash as you can see we've got two ac vents here nothing much over here and there's no buttons or anything like not anything crucial nothing crucial everything is understandable everything is simply laid out right in front of you and my palm i can rest it on the gear knob and i can drive with my single hand all day long so this is a nice place to rest your palm on long drives the seats are very comfortable it's not leather seats it's fabric so no leather seats it's fabric seats and it's comfortable it's soft i'm going to the highway just to do a little pull and then from then on so this car likes to hold the rpm on the higher side when i press the throttle there's a little sound from the engine i like it some people won't i like it it's pretty it's a bit loud the response on the steering it's pretty good the suspension is on 
a little bit on the firm side because do you know why you can guess why because this car is rolling on a 19 inch rims there's like on the 1.5 liter i don't know the size of the rims guys do let me know what's the size i think it's going to be um 17 or 18 there's a silver record over here with the sport trim as well everyone over here gets the sport trim because as i've told you it looks very nice from the outside when i go to the highway i'm going to put the car into sport and do a pull for you guys The throttle response is pretty damn good. 2 liter, 252 horses, you know, it's pretty good. I really like it. It gives you a pull, pretty good pull. And then whenever there's like a car in front of you, as you can see, it notifies you on the left RPM. I will, for you guys, if you guys want me to do a POV review in the daylight, of this Honda Accord do let me know in the comment box below if you guys want that then I will do a POV review of it in the daylight throttle response is good this car when my cousin got it uh, he bought it for 32,000 something and I think it was like 35 including the registration and the DMV fees and the plates and everything 35,000 I think it's not bad for 35,000 uh, it's a good car it's a proper family car I think five people can easily 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 sit in this car all together uh, without any problems you can feel the road noise and if I go to 60 miles per hour Tyler I can tell you how it actually is but we are right now at the moment cruising should you buy a honda civic or a honda accord i think you should buy you should really buy the honda accord because you know it's just a few thousand dollars here and there you can just get the honda accord and what is the benefit the benefit is you get more leg space you get more interior space you get a bigger car you get a nicer car in my opinion because the new honda accord that came out it's pretty sick looking this car right over here the car that i'm driving this is a lovely car from every angle the interior is good i just wish they had an option to pick from black and beige interior then the beige interior would have been very nice the windshield it's pretty decent visibility on this car the side mirrors are pretty big easy to see blind spot suspension is going to be 7 out of 10 because it's got a 19 inch I can feel the bumps as I'm going through the bumps I can feel it I do feel it so that is why I gave a 7 if the if the car was running on a 17 inch I would have given it an 8 easily the response on the steering wheel is going to be eight and a half the driving position is right on point right in the center the steering is manual adjustment it's not uh, automatic but the seats are automatic this car has only been driven 9400 miles in the two years time police lights i think there's a crash or something i don't know what it is but there's something wrong that is why there's traffic usually at this time there's no traffic you see the police cars right over there and there's something wrong something happened i don't know what it is oh my god as you can see i took the exit and the road is empty 
So guys, I'm just gonna put the car into sport and see how it drives. The lights on the speedometer turned red to indicate that the car is on sport. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, pretty good. It's pretty responsive. Nothing like a sports car, but it does get the job done. Everything is throttle response is it's more responsive from comfort. The speedometer, the RPM meter changes as you can see the one, two, three, four, five, six it changed, and then you know the the suspension is more stiff. I can tell. And there we have it, guys. I hope you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the bell icon, and I'll see you very soon, guys. Take care, peace, and I'm taking your leave, guys.